Hi guys, this is Rob here. I'm a Canva Verified Expert and today I'm going to teach you how to create custom frames using Canva and a free tool called Figma. So if you wanted to know how to create these custom frames, stay with me until the end of this video. But before we get started, please consider to subscribe to this channel if you wanted to know more about Canva. And there is also a link down below for you to try Canva for 45 days for free, okay? So let's get into Canva and I'm going to show you how to create the custom frames. So here we are into Canva and now all you have to do, you have to open a new document. So you're going to click on create a design and select a format of any document you want to open. So after opening that document, you're going to click on elements and then you're going to select the element that you want to convert into a custom frame. For those who don't know what, what frames are, if you click down below here, you have all these frames and you can drag a photo into these frames. So it's super easy to use these frames, but uh, Canva has a limited amount of them. So if you want to create your own, just follow this tutorial. So now you type what you're looking for. In this case, I'm typing here family, and then I have many images here. I would, I would recommend you to use uh, the images that are uh, and only one color. You can use that one, for example, if you want. So what you're going to do, you select the image that you want to use. And then after selecting it, you don't need to change color or anything like that. You're just going to click on share and click on download. And then after clicking on download, you're going to select SVG. As you can see, SVG is a pro feature. So if you don't have Canva Pro, there is a link down below for you to try it. And you're going to click on transparent background and download. After downloading this um, image, uh, this SVG, what you're going to do now is go into Figma. And if you don't have a Figma account, just open one. It's super simple. And then you're going to see this interface here. You don't need to know anything about Figma. Just follow this tutorial. You'll be fine. So you click on new design file. And then after clicking on it, uh, this is going to open. It's kind of like a blank canvas there for you to work. So what you're going to do, you're going to drag that SVG file into this space, just like that. So after dragging it here, as you can see, if you don't know how to drag it here, what you're going to do, you're going to click on the little square here and place image and look for the SVG file and place it here. Super simple. After dragging it, you just click outside like that and then click and select from the inside out. I'm clicking and dragging my mouse. So after doing that, as you can see, as it is a uh, SVG file, it sort of separates. Uh, that's how the designer created this form. So kind of separates it, but that's all right. What we're going to do now, we're going to click and drag. And after dragging and selecting all the elements, we're going to click on Command G or Control uh, G if you are using Windows. This is going to convert it in one single uh, element. Uh, it's going to group it and after doing that what you're going to do you click here on the little color and select here instead of solid image. So then now you're going to choose the image that you want to fill that, that with. Um, it's super simple just select any image you have in there. There we go. So now that you've filled up with an image you are going to click on export and then you are going to select here PDF. Okay, PDF. It's very important that you export in PDF and export group. After exporting it, put your name there, uh, exporting it, you're going to go back into Canva. Okay, so that's really important. You're going to click on create a design. Don't drag and drop into Canva. You just click on create a design, import file. Okay. So after clicking on import file, you're going to go where you've exported that PDF, click on that PDF and click on open. After doing that, Canva is going to import that PDF into Canva. And then after uh, importing it, you are going to be able to edit it, adding your uh, custom images and anything that you want. So it's super simple. As you can see, you've imported it here into Canva. And now you can just click on the image and delete uh, the gold part and you have your custom frame that you can use. You can drag your photos, anything you want into these custom frames, as you can see, and it's super, super 
easy to use. So I hope you like that tutorial. And if you like, consider to leave your like, comment down below if you have any questions. I see you in the next video. Bye bye.